What's going on, guys? And welcome to episode 17 of Pocket Talk. We took a week off last week. No, we didn't. We totally what released you, an episode you, last what week. Are you, what are you talking about? What am I doing? How? <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I guess you oh, didn't even God. watch it. I totally... I was in it. I experienced it live. <laughs> the best experience. We won't talk about episode 10 ever again. All right, let's get into it. I already have, I have three topics. John has zero. So <laughs> we're going to get right into it with Pokemon Go has made $14 million already. Yes. How? Yes, because it's How? amazing. Dude, it's, it's like the most, I don't know. I was talking about it at work today. People are asking me about it. They look at me and I'm like, you play the Pokemon, don't you? I'm like, no. I wish I wish I had your job because nobody at my job plays it and I'm upset. Everybody asks me about it. They're like, how does it work? I'm like, I guess it pulls like a Google Map API. Like, I just went like, yep. like, because the Google Map API pulls down a map, you Pokemon, you use your camera, you throw Pokeballs at the thing. I played yep. it for like 10 minutes. So I'm like, it's okay. Amanda fucking loves it. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Did you pick it? Did you pick a team already? Yeah, Team Mystic. Ooh. Oh, you're Team Blue. Yeah. Dang. Ooh. Amanda's Team Valor. Fuck Amanda. I might go Team Lightning. Team whatever damn, the fuck that's called. Damn! Uh, Instinct? Instinct, whatever it's called. Heck, yo. Dude, it has Lightning Bird. I'm, Good I'm really happy. Good old No, I'm really happy it's doing really well. Because, mm. honestly, it's one of the mobile games I actually thought was really awesome. <laughs> it's so fucking absurd. No, because it's like, in, in theory, it's not that awesome. So it's just you're flicking Pokeballs of Pokemon. It doesn't even have all the great. things they, they... It doesn't even have all the things they promised. The, the thing is, like, it's the experience of going outside and then, like, mm. walking around and having other people playing it yeah. is awesome. Because, like, I was in Jersey City and, mm. like, we were walking around mm -hmm. and uh, we were, like, you were, like, you could tell who was playing it and who wasn't. Mm -hmm. And then we got to the pier, and like we were catching Pokemon, and like one guy's like, "Hey, has anyone seen a Charmander?" It's like Charmander's not here; it's over there. And it's like, "Who's seen a Sea King?" Like nobody. And the guy's like, "Damn it!" <laughs> <laughs> and it's awesome because like then you have like conversations, and like you're talking to people, and like talking to people about Pokemon. I've already known people who've made friends because of this game. Like this I would have never so talked to this strange. Co but like we bonded over Pokemon Go, and he's actually a pretty cool dude. Mm. And now we like we talk now, and it's awesome. So I think the game's great. I just can't believe it. It's just there's only one big gripe I have with it. What's the big gripe? If you live in a city, you're at a, you're at an advantage. Of course you are. It's more densely populated. It's it's not only it's more densely populated. It's like you have access to more Pokestops, which give you items, right? Like Pokeballs, mm. and like they're in like literally like some are in like literally like two feet of one another so you could just like oh, sit there annoying. for an hour and you never have to pay pay for any any items i mean that's smart so it's lame like where i live the the, the closest pokestop's like over a mile away oh you poor baby gotta like, get in your car no, no but i mean you don't you get walk. Many, no you couldn't and it's an incentive to walk but like you don't get many items through a pokestop yeah. you get like three or four right so it's kind of lame. Yeah. We're reason. the same. Like, I think around us is the same way because we were driving. I was driving home from uh, grocery shopping with Amanda and she's in the passenger seat, you know, playing Pokemon or whatever. Yeah. And we passed like the Elks Lodge in Keyport. Yeah. And it's a Pokestop. Yeah. And I'm like, the VFW? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> yeah, no. It, they, they, I actually don't know how they're picking out how they did it what their algorithm was to pick out pokestops i have no idea but they, they did just picked random fucking locations that are businesses that are like hey, it's a pokestop yeah i don't know i just i, th I hope they bring out like some daily login system mm. or something that like helps people who don't have access to many pokestops they'll, pro they'll probably get to that point because it's the only way to replenish pokeballs at this point besides paying for them yeah now the 14 million that they made there are no are there any ads in this game no have they made literally 14 million on like it's, there's no way that's just microtransactions no, 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 no. from what i it's 14 million users no oh, this thing's made 14 million dollars according to super data damn damn so, I, I don't know there's no way this there's no way this is just microtransactions because then we have a lot of fucking crazy people i take you i take you at your word 
across multiple platforms since its release, putting it ahead of other titles using franchise, including Pokemon Shuffle Mobile, which earned $14 million since August 2015. Yeah, thing earned $14 million in a week! Man. Made $14 million in a week. Jesus fucking Christ. People bought Pokeballs, man, and incenses and shit like that. I guess. Dude, I don't know. It's fucking weird. And to be honest, they're not... Like, for a dollar, you get 15 Pokeballs. That's not that bad. That's expensive? No, it's, it's not that bad. What happens if you're shitty at throwing Pokeballs and you use, like, ten on one? I just spent a dollar to catch a Zubat. This sucks. Get good. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, but actually, get good. like for real though, Zubats are a pain in the ass to catch. But yeah, but according to Amanda, flying Pokemon are the biggest pain in the dick ever because they just yeah, move around erratically and annoying. Yeah, they're they're pretty annoying. So fucking Jesus, yeah. Pokemon's made tons of money. Does that Great. okay? So this is what I'm thinking. Does that mean does Nintendo now venture into other more of their properties onto the mobile? If it's as well executed as Pokemon Go is, I wouldn't mind. I mean, if they put a Mario game or some form of like Mario quick game like a tower defense game with zelda maybe it depends on how it's how it's yeah. modeled. the way pokemon go is modeled is like it just you makes don't have to spend sense. money yeah. there's like no reason to spend money right um you could like you know there's no reason so right 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 i like the way that's modeled fucking pokemon jesus christ good N- niantic must, niantic must be fucking thrilled yeah, they are. Holy Dude, Ingr- Ingress made like 1.1 1. 1 million off of like, in like, what is it? Three and a half, four years? 14 times the amount in like a week. Yeah, they're freaking Absolutely out. Absolutely absurd. They're freaking out. And it's great. Good for them. They made good, a good for they them. Made a, they made a good mobile game. Sweet baby Jesus. Fucking Pokemon! Did you catch any cool ones? You got any? What's the coolest Pokemon you have? What's your What's your strongest Pokemon? Never mind. Let's get to Pin- that. Pincer. Pincer? What's C- yeah. What's the CP level on it, bruh? Four hundred something. That's it. Get better, bruh. I know. Lift more. I've, I know. I'm trying to I'm trying to evolve my Bell Sprout to a to a Weeping Bell. Mm. Because its base CP was two hundred something, so that Weeping Bell will be be jacked. It's jacked as fuck. Yeah, but I need to catch more Bell Sprouts. All of the bell sprouts. That's my life right now. That's fucking terrifying. Dude's great. Everybody really loves it. the Pokemon. I'm gonna start walking around work with it. I mean, I think I'm gonna start yeah. doing that. See what I get. Yeah, dude, you'll get random ass Pokemon. I caught an It's just fucking it awesome. hot outside. Dude, don't matter. So, I'm I'm a bitch when it comes to heat. Oh no. Dude. It's nice today. I guess it's still hot. I plan to walk be... outside today to attach some of my eggs. I mean, I'll probably go outside tonight once the sun goes down. All right. That's what I've been doing the last, like, two days. Wait, wait, wait. That's how you've been playing Pokemon Go? That's how Amanda's been playing it, too. Like, she'll play it at work, and then, like, she'll come home, or, like, and then we'll just go for, like, a little walk around the, the complex or around the little area, the development. That's and nice. she'll play, and I'll just get a walk in. <laughs> gotta, gotta cut them pounds, son. Dude, come on, man. It's a good way. I guess. Start running and you hatch your eggs faster. Yeah, that's true. I wish it would work where you can get on a treadmill and it just like goes faster. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I, I tried to it's test that. It's all GPS much... based. Yeah, it's, it's all, all GPS based. based. Yeah. Oh god, fucking Pokemon. Can we talk about something else? Sure. All right, so Rocket League's being a weird. Yeah, I don't know why they're trying this. No, I I have all the information. At least some of it. So Rocket League's adding, like, crates. Like, loot crates. Like, TF2 Counter-Strike style. So you buy a loot... You buy a crate for a certain amount of money. Probably, like, a dollar or something. I don't play TF2 or Counter-Strike, so I don't know how that works. But I play Overwatch, and it's like you buy a certain amount of crates for a certain amount of money. And you get cool things, like skins and voice packs and stuff like that. So I'm guessing they're going to do that with in-game items in Rocket League. So you'll get skins and Same. trails, and Same. you won't get cars, so it's like you're just going to get a lot of hats, Same. pretty much, which if it goes to TF2, it's ridiculous. You think it sucks. The only reason I think it's okay, I think it's stupid. You can still unlock everything the normal way. Yeah, sure. So that it doesn't incentivize, incentivize, that's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Uh, incentivize buying these fucking things. But it's supposed to, um, there's supposed to be 
helping out like the the like Rocket League Championship Series. Like it's supposed to go and help fund like more stuff like that. Which I think is okay, and they're still gonna do like DLC and like the free stuff we've been getting playing Rocket League all year. But I'm just I find it weird that it's been a year, and it's like all of a sudden now they're like, hey, you want to come buy crates? We like crates, but we're not gonna be like Counter Strike and fall into illegal gambling. Well, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that because that's <laughs> I don't know why even people are. It's not even a debate to me the Counter Strike thing. That was shitty, and they were shitty for doing it. Period. Um, mm. but. The reason I don't like crates, yeah, is they just maybe 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 I'm maybe I'm wrong because you know what you can spend your money however you like, mm. and if you want to buy more skins for whatever reason, you can do it. But it just seems like a really quick cash grab, mm-hmm. and it's useless. I mean, especially for like Rocket League, it, it's just you barely see worthless. cosmetic stuff. While the game's going on, yeah. Besides, like trails, like rocket trails are sometimes kind of cool, but like, who cares? Why do you care? Yeah, I don't know no. if it's gonna do as well as they think it's going to do. It, might, I might be wrong. It might be like some kind of crazy hit because people are crazy. But like, I, ah, I think people like the randomness buy. of it, yeah, and that I, I understand because like I love opening like trading card packs. Right. Like you know, as a kid, we love doing it. We were like, what are we gonna get? So that like that instinct is like. Like, really, really intense, but mm. I just, I don't know. I don't, I just don't like them. Just let me unlock, I know you're letting me lock thing, unlock things normally. There's just yeah. something that always I feel really like, I don't like this. Right, right, I don't right. like that you're trying to put in microtransactions into my game. I leave my out. game alone. Yeah, just just get them out. Like, I, I don't like them. But if, if you like them and they're there and you want to buy them, I, I can't complain. It, it's yeah. a hard it's it's a hard case I can make. It's very mm. hard. Mm. But I give it a thumbs down. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think it's silly. But if it helps grow the Rocket League community and helps out the people that are playing it competitively, competitively. Right. I can't talk today. Competitively, I mean, I I'm I'm cool with it. I it just won't see any of my money. I'm not going to spend my money on it. crates and stuff. Yeah, I guess I guess my other my other thing against crates is I don't want them to escalate. Like right now, it's just skins that don't matter. But I don't want to be like we're gonna put other stuff oh, like cars and like stuff? cars and it can be on unlo- that'll start to make me like and I don't want it to go that route. So I want to nip it now. Like nope, don't even bother. Don't even do it. Don't do it. I guess <laughs> just, just, don't. Don't. just don't. Damn it, Psionics! You had a good thing going here. Just don't do it. Fucking so. Jesus. Yeah, I don't like I don't like Overwatch's loot crates. I don't mm. like, uh, you know, TF2's crates. I didn't like CS:GO's crates. I didn't like Payday's crates. Yeah, you just I don't like crates. crates. I just, you're, I just, you're not a fan of planked squares that contain items. Uh, yeah, not if you got to pay real money for them. <laughs> if you wanted to make a crate system, but like every game you got currency, I'm like, I don't give a shit. Whatever. Yeah. But like, making me pay real money. Just it just always rubs me the wrong way, especially yeah, when I already sense. paid money for your game. Right, right, right. That's it. You know, just rubs me the wrong way. Mm. I'm just not gonna pay anything for it. No, me neither. No. <laughs> so, well, there's that. Rocket League crates. Universal thumbs down from both of us. Yep. Pokemon uh, Go. I think it's like going. We're like this. I'm fine yeah. with it. Okay. I so think you're it's like, a, you're like I, I'm sideways thumb. Yeah. And now we're like this. Yeah. Double thumbs down. Mm. This one might a lot of people might be pissed off about it, but like Song of the Deep came out today. Ooh. I think it was today or like a two. You no, know, it's Tuesday, so yeah, probably today. This is the first game that GameStop has um, published. So Insomniac yep. developed it. This is the Ooh. first game that GameStop as a company has published. Right. So I find this incredibly fascinating that the game retailer. I forgot that this was published by GameStop Mm -hmm. so I'm like I'm looking through it and I'm like what the crap and I'm like reading and it's like published by GameStop I'm like what the hell and then I remember like yeah Amanda's been talking about it a lot and she got like this cool song of the deep shirt which makes so much sense but like I'm curious on what else they're gonna try to do like song of the deep I don't think is super long it's a Metroidvania style game 
you play as this girl in a submarine. You're trying to find your dad. Right. Supposedly, it's really good. The Steam reviews that I'm running through are like mostly thumbs up. Yeah, I read a. I went through a few reviews, mainly off Metacritic. Sorry, uh, and IGN gave it a six, and other people gave it all right. Mm. It, it's up and down. Um, it's definitely it's not a bad game. No one's calling it a straight up bad game. Yeah, it's either saying it's okay pretty. or it's good. Um, and they all unanimously unanimously say the game is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks very pretty. And I don't know why would you you said people would have an issue with GameStop publishing games. People just hate GameStop. I I just I understand the hate for GameStop cuz sometimes they do kind of crappy things, but like I have no issue that, I have no issue with them being a games publisher. Like it doesn't bother me. It, that it was my thing. That was the question I was going to bring up. Is like do you feel like them getting into a publishing thing is a little weird or I, I think they're hedging their bets as a company. I think they're mm. saying, "Look, retail might not be here forever, so if we wanna, we wanna do other things." That's why they don't just sell games anymore. They sell like mobile devices and they like sell merchandise. Right. So they're trying to hedge their bets, and it's another way of doing it. Look, let's publish video games. We already sell video games. Yeah, yeah. Why not spend money in publishing them, and then why we not have make a, more profit? And we already have a platform to distribute it and get the word out for it so we can have right. all our salesmen and, and managers and, and, and uh, whatever floor staff say, buy this game, buy this game, buy this game. So, right. you know, maybe the only thing people would have an issue with is if I walk into a GameStop, they're going to push the games they publish. So, well, then be right. more educated on the subject and know they publish this game. Don't trust them. Uh, they clearly have an agenda so to sell it. So don't don't trust them on it but mm. i don't i have no issue with them being a publisher they haven't shown themselves to be a bad publisher unless i get, i read an article or i read a story about them hindering some developer then i'll have an issue but as right now i'm fine with it if they turn out to be a fantastic publisher that's great for the industry itself so yeah more publishers more of them we need to get more Go games out i'm happy that yeah. it's like a 15 dollar game too it's not super expensive yeah no, I think so I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they stick that route. If they stick the whole like we're gonna bring out like these fifteen twenty dollar indie games, like not indie but like smaller games. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a smart way to do it. Yeah, why not? But no, they're... I yeah, I agree with you on that sense though. I think them being coming and publishing games, I think is kind of cool, and hopefully it gives some like developers of the uh, the platform to really push a game out. Yeah. Some games just catch fire, like Stardew Valley, which like people right. just talked about because like. Dude, it's amazing. You got to play it. But some games do fall to the wayside, and like you don't really notice that they came out until like months later, and they're on yeah. a Steam sale for forty percent off. And you're like, "This game came out? Like, holy yeah, shit!" And, and the game was good. Yeah. And, you know, just because the game's not getting pressed doesn't mean the game's not good. Right. So that could be a, a whole. Re- that should be a whole reform for a lot of uh, a lot of things, though. Games journalism needs to improve in that sense, where a lot of people got to like start. You you're shaking your head. You're like, I don't even want to get into this. Do not bring me into this, Jonathan. <laughs> like, yeah, ga- games journalism is bad. It's really don't, bad. Don't put that juju on me. Oh, it. Ugh, the state of games journalism is is pathetic. But mm. whatever. It's if you just go go to look, go to ign.com, look at their trending articles, and you'll just be like, oh. yeah, that's it. Like that's all, and it's not yeah. their fault. Right, and it's not any game quote-unquote journalists fault it's it's what sells people like what they're writing and right. what they're writing might be crap and i think they it's know true. it's crap but it, well it's what gives us clicks and it's what gives us money so we have to be keep producing this right. that's actually a huge problem with internet culture um with the internet itself it has to mm. be appealing you can't write an article about something that is like interesting yeah. you can but it may not get clicks but writing like you know scandal or you know clickbaity word ads you know top yeah. six blah blah blahs you won't right. believe number three you, exactly <laughs> like and that's what that's buzzfeed kind of yeah did a lot of that and got really popular and look people seem to really like top 10 lists john we should do top 10 lists honestly if you adam if you want to make money off of this yes we should do top 10 lists we don't, not like we don't make money off of this to begin with I, I'm not, we don't monetize any of our videos I'm just saying, if that was your, if your objective was to solely make money, we don't have a Patreon. I, I guess that's how I should have put it. If like, if, <laughs> if, if 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 your yeah, if your objective was to solely make money, yeah, off of YouTube, you follow trends. That's all you do. That's you true. follow controversy, drama, mm. top mm. ten lists. Though mm. you will get like dramas, 
You'll get half a million subs within like two years. That Easily. YouTube, that YouTube drama. Things. It's just true. It's what people click. Yeah. Your content doesn't have to be good. It just has to be appealing. I like how this was supposed to be with Song of the Deep. We end up talking about like stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Song of the Deep. It looks Completely derailed. Good. It looks cool. I think I'm going to play it. I think I'm going to buy it. going to purchase it. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just watch videos. Purchase it. Yeah. I'm going to purchase it. Or I could be getting it. Something, something, something. This is not a en paid endorsement of Song of no. the Deep. I don't work with Insomniac Games. Blah, blah, blah. I actually, It's actually a game I've actually been looking at through like the last like e i think they showed it last year at e3 not this e3 but the last e3 mm -hmm. or something insomniac showed it i saw a trailer from like this game looks kind of neat uh, i'll i'll say and i found out gamestop is doing it, and i'm like well that's a good one that's a little plus <laughs> I'll, I'll 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 say this i haven't played song of the deep i don't really know a whole whole lot about it doesn't look bad mm -hmm. review critics said it wasn't that bad yeah if you want to play it play it if you don't i don't care yeah. whatever <laughs> Doesn't fucking bother me. Help the small publisher known as GameStop. Yeah. Get off. Help GameStop and Insomniac out because you know they need the money. <laughs> Ugh. Insomniac needs to make more Ratchet and Clanks. That's what I want. They, they probably will. And they need to make a new Sly Cooper. They did, and it sucked. Well, isn't that Sucker Punch? Wrong company. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, like, I just remember a new Sly Cooper came out. Yeah. And it sucked. Oh. Uh. Yeah, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch, because they do the which McCall? Infamous. Infamous, thank you. Yeah. There's something with an eye. I was like, yeah. I got it. I got this. I didn't beat both of the games or anything. <laughs> They're not like one of my, it's actually one of my favorite new newer IPs, rather. Yeah, is Infamous even considered a new IP anymore? I mean, they've only had three games. That's true. When it first came out, I thought it was neat. Can we talk about this for a second? Do you remember when Infamous first came out and Prototype came out next to yep. it and everyone's like, dude, Prototype's gonna be like, the game! And yeah. Prototype ended up being like, it's a pretty cool like version of Hulk Ultimate Destruction and Infamous was actually really fucking neat. I liked Prototype more than Infamous. You did, that was yeah, funny. I did. I did like I liked, Prototype more than Infamous. I liked Prototype because by the end of the game you got to put on like this crazy suit and you get all Giver powers and I'm like, yep, down with this, run through shit cool like weird alien suit i'm down yeah i don't know why i liked it i liked it more mm. uh, i had more fun with it Infamous i never played the second boring. one i never played i like the it one. but it was kind of boring i've played both all three infamous infami because you can't say infamouses it just makes it sound silly <laughs> all three infamous games i have played i still actually have to play the freaking i still have to play last light that dlc I just that just blew for 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 the new one for the newest one second son. Oh. They released like a DLC that follows a separate character that I haven't yeah, played. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be really good. Did, did you play the, Did you play Festival of Blood? Infamous no, Festival? no infamous I, that was two. the only infamous thing I liked. Because crazy zombie vampires. Yeah, it was kind of neat. I was like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> it was like ten bucks. I was like, yeah, I was poor yeah. at the time. It was awesome. Ten dollars. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's good, man. Played it one summer. Didn't have Pokemon Go. What the hell else I was gonna do with me? What else are you gonna do with your life? Fucking Pokemon Go, you fucking asshole. Oh, God. Pocket Talk is done. For today. You should like on the Twitter. You should follow us on Twitter. Yeah. Or just like the video, follow on Twitter. I say this shit all at the same. All at the end. Nothing ever changes. You know what you need to do. You know what you should do. Drop a like on the video. Make sure that makes us know that you actually like it. Because I'm going to start putting like targets on. And then I'm just going to stop making shit. I'm kidding. I'm just going to keep making stuff because I want to. Yeah, I was like, dude, I want to still make stuff. But, but man, you can't do that. We should make it for fun. We do, actually. It's yeah, the reason I make. It's the reason I, we pretty much make everything. Yeah. Because we find it funny and hilarious and putting our stupid talking on the internet's fun. Yeah. Portugal. Fuck. I forgot. <laughs> Portugal won the... <laughs> I'm just going to say this. This pocket talk was like smooth, and then right at the end, just went like it completely <laughs> went off the rails. <laughs> uh, Portugal won the Euro Cup. This is the last time we're going to talk about soccer until soccer starts, and I'm going to start talking about it again. So you get about four or five pocket talks worth of non soccer talk. <laughs> oh my god, Portugal won. I was at a Portuguese restaurant, and it was amazing. Ed Air scored, the whole place exploded, everybody hugged, cried. It was yep. amazing. Walked through Newark, everybody with Portugal flags driving down the streets, honking their horns. Oh, it was a beaut. 
It was beautiful. Then I watched the Red Bull game. That was it was such a good day. That was such a good day. <laughs> yeah. Portugal. <laughs> Yay. John also watched Portugal. I did. We were outnumbered three hundred to twenty five. <laughs> didn't matter. It didn't uh, matter. By the way, the bar I was in cleared out so fast. Did it when the game ended? When Adair oh scored or when the game no, ended? No, when the game ended. It like, Everyone's just like, fuck this, like, we're done. Like, we, everyone else just filtered. That's and amazing. Like 25 of us like, yeah. Fucking throwing shit, buying beer, like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> it was a beautiful thing. I had a super bock. I was very Portuguese. <laughs> we had a ton of food. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that place is amazing. If you're ever in Newark, New Jersey, find... Cumbria, it's a very good Portuguese restaurant, <laughs> and you get a ton of food for what you pay for. So, is Cumbria our new sponsor? Uh, it should be. If they would <laughs> give me, if I could go there and get free food every week, I'd fuck yeah, I would. <laughs> good God, it was so good. I just got a shrimp and rice, and it was delicious. This is the end of Pocket Talk. Pocket Talk's done. Follow us on Twitter at Peter Pocket Games. Shoot a like on the video. Share the video. Twitch TV slash Adam Pita, twitch.tv slash Jonathan underscore Pita. John streamed, so I get to keep saying his goddamn channel. It was Follow terrible. Follow us on there. It was fine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're going to stream more. We, I am yeah. fucking... You know what? No. We're putting this on the video. We are eventually going to stream Chrono Trigger. We are. Yeah. <laughs> we are. Uh, hopefully soon. I'm hoping it happens in the next month. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because... Halfway through August, I'm gone for two weeks. Yes. So oh, then. God. Have I forgot about that? Yeah. What the hell am I going to do with two weeks without you? We're going to have single man pocket talks. No, we won't. Yeah, probably. Maybe not. I'll I find. Mean, you maybe I'll get guests. Yeah, you could. <laughs> and basically show how terrible I am at the. No, uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think we do pocket talks while you're gone. That's fine. We'll figure uh, it out. I'll try to. I'm going to try to have content ready. Chrono we'll Trigger's like 15 hours long. I feel like if we can do like a couple streams in the next like two months, we could finish it. Yeah, I, I hope to finish it by the end of the summer. So we're, so it has to be before I leave. Because I leave and it's I come back in the fall. So are you coming over like every other Saturday now? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, possibly we'll this Saturday. Uh, I can't Why are we talking about this on Pocket Time? I don't know. I can't do this Saturday though. I have plans. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. This has been Pocket Talk Episode 17. Have a good rest of your week. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs>